let's pack with me. It is currently 4.30 p.m. Tuesday, July 9th. I'm currently in New York right now, but I leave to go to JFK later this evening to catch my flight like at 12 a.m. tonight. And then I'm landing in Seoul at like 5 a.m. on Thursday. So I'm spending a whole entire day on a plane. Stay tuned for a possible like travel with me video as well because I feel like I might as well film a video on the plane. Like it's gonna be so long. This is the longest time I've also ever flown all by myself before. But anyways, like we're not even gonna get into the travel part because you're gonna just see all of that in the vlogs. Today is all about packing. And as much as I want to pack an empty suitcase and just buy everything there, which is kind of my plan low key. I also just like still need to pack like regardless. I'm just like trying to think of like how to pack for a trip like this. Because I'm also going to the Philippines and Japan. I just know I'm gonna spend a lot of money on clothes, especially in Japan. So I'm only bringing this small carry-on for like my essential stuff. And when I'm over there, I definitely plan on buying like a checked bag. Because when I come back, I know I'm gonna have a lot of stuff. So that's a problem for another time. As of right now, I just need to figure out which clothes I'm actually going to bring, how to pack my suitcase, and then also kind of tidy up my room and make sure everything's good for me like leaving for three weeks. But you guys, I can't believe this trip actually made it out of the books. Even though I'm flying there all by myself, I'm meeting my three friends over there. They're like already over there, so I'm flying there alone, which is also something I thought I would never do like in my entire life. But 2024 is all about independence and we're fully embracing that with this trip. Anyways, I feel really nervous. I don't know if you guys can tell like I'm kind of stressed out which is probably why I'm like on such an energy high right now but it's because I'm so overwhelmed and don't know what to do first. I'm also kind of wearing my airport outfit as I would say. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this top but I'm already wearing my sweatpants because I'm definitely gonna try to be comfortable on this flight. I am flying economy but I know it's gonna be fine like it's all gonna work out but that's another thing I need to remember to do which is pack one outfit in my carry-on like backpack because I'm also backpack is like my personal item. I make sure I I have an outfit in here for when I land in Seoul because I'm not gonna like wanna go out in my sweatpants like when I get off the plane. Also my friend Laura is coming over to kind of help and just comfort me because like just, I don't know what to do with myself you guys. Like I am so, so stressed but so excited at the same exact time. Also I don't even know if I mentioned this but it is 4.34 and I have to leave at like 8 p.m. to go to the airport. There's that. <laughs> First, need to put in laundry. I have like a big bucket right here. I also want to just pick out the stuff I know I want to pack. I know for the most part though, this is going to be like really empty. travel essential I'll also be packing in my suitcase are my blue light glasses but the coolest thing about these is that they double as sunglasses I don't know if you guys saw the magic but I was literally able to change these blue light glasses into sunglasses and I want to thank today's sponsor of this video which is pair eyewear as you can see their magnetic top frames let you switch up your look in a snap and basically giving you multiple pairs of glasses all in one the style of the base frame that I picked out was the Kirby and crystal clear as you guys saw you can easily add your prescription to the base glasses and and then I decided to go with three sun top looks. I got the tortoise sun top, the black sun top, and also the cheetah spot sun top. But I just added blue light because as you guys know, I don't really have any prescription glasses. The only time when I'm wearing glasses is when it's like sunglasses when I'm outside or blue light glasses when I'm working. I feel like it's perfect because I can literally be working at my desk, doing my editing with my blue light glasses, and then easily step out on a hot girl walk, which I think is also perfect for my trip. You can use my discount code CaitlinDeWitt15 for 15% off your order at Pear Eyewear. Make sure to click the link down below in my description. Not to mention, pair eyewear is much more affordable than traditional glasses. These base frames start at $60 and the top frames start at $25. Once again, thank you so much, pair eyewear, for sponsoring today's video and let's just get back on into packing. I 
have a mini haul as well from Amazon, literally just for this trip too. I'm gonna open up this one because it's already open because I wanted to make sure this one arrived specifically. First thing I bought was two new memory cards. These are both 120 gigabytes, so we're set. This whole entire trip will be recorded. And I wanted to make sure these worked because a lot of mine were already like kind of corrupt or like not really working as well. And this is a repurchase. This one it is this mini tripod. I went to Gov Ball and I brought this with me and they made me throw it out because I guess it's like a selfie stick, even though I don't really think it is. It's really just so I can hold my vlog camera more comfortable in public. But you guys have literally seen this before. Like I've talked about it in my videos. I'll never forgive them for throwing it out because it's literally not a selfie stick unless, I mean, it does expand. Which is the nice thing. I do like this. And then also like on the go, if you guys are like content creators, like you guys should definitely get this. I'll leave the link for this down below, like on my Amazon storefront. But I normally like just holding it like this so my camera can sit like this and it's a little bit more comfortable. And anyways, time to get more packing. I just cleaned up all of the dishes in my kitchen and like threw out a ton of, not, Actually, I didn't throw out a ton of food. I just threw out like all the food in the fridge that I know would go bad because I'm not gonna be here for a while. And then my friend Laura's coming over and she's bringing me food because I'm like really, really hungry. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get back to packing. I'm waiting for my wash to finish. And then I think I'm gonna start trying to pack my like skincare and makeup as of right now because I can't really finish the clothing part as of right now. I need to like lay out everything and make sure I'm bringing what I need to bring like for everything or whatever. I don't know. Like, cause I don't wanna overpack you guys. You have no idea. I'm like gonna buy so many clothes and like stuff there. And also like, I don't really want to pack a lot of my makeup and skincare anyways because I think I'm gonna buy a lot of that there anyways as well. Like you guys, like you have no idea how much stuff I want to buy. buy. Are you allowed to bring a razor on the plane? I feel like I shouldn't be asking you guys that because you can't respond. Hold on. I just have to be careful because I'm not like checking in a bag. Can you bring a razor on a plane? Oh, it says yeah. A lot of my like hair care products though, I don't know if I can bring them because they have to be like within that ounce, three point something ounces. I'm like trying to decide how I'm gonna pack that stuff. I'm probably gonna have to just buy a lot of stuff there. Oh my God. But I do have a lot of like mini stuff. I'm bring some teeth whitening strips, my hair oil. I'm also gonna check in right now because I did not do that yet. And I'm just now realizing, oh my gosh. You guys, I'm a little bit stressed out right now. The time right now is 5.30. I have like two and a half hours. You. <laughs> okay, you're in record. <laughs> okay, you guys, I think I'm gonna wear this and this cardigan and this white tank top for when I get there with my new balances. We're gonna bring this in my backpack. Here's the little setup. All of these are for Barack guys. I feel like I don't even really need to organize my suitcase though, because I'm literally not bringing anything. Normally, I am rolling my clothes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, I love that top. Yeah. Like this with like a long skirt. Or, like, That's like jeans. one of your fave tops. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks really good on you. You're just bringing this bag? Yes. Cute. Like for the beach, like we're with a bikini, bikini top. top. All right? Yes. Because <laughs> I could wear these in like Japan. I feel like you're gonna buy them. I don't know. I don't know. Because yeah. jeans are heavy. I know. <laughs> and I'm gonna head to the airport. I am getting a little stressed out just because it's kind of hitting me right now, like with what I'm doing, like flying 16 hours all by myself. I don't know, it's just starting to hit me. But Laura said this earlier and like my room looks so empty, which is kind of crazy. For some reason, it's just like really, really sad. I'm also gonna take the vacuum cleaner and like fully vacuum my room before I leave, but it's crazy. I'm not gonna be here for like three whole weeks. I'm also leaving the winter jackets on my bed because I have nowhere else to put these. So I'm kind of annoyed that this is gonna be left like this, but it's whatever. We're taking the subway there because the Ubers are really, really expensive. So 
so to the A train we go to JFK. for the train to go to the airport and sweating by the way. I don't know if you could tell. You can definitely tell. Oh my god, it's like 100 degrees out in New York right now with humidity and the train stations are not air conditioned. I'm glad I brought a change of clothes because I'm about to do my pointer skincare makeup routine since I feel disgusting. Sorry, Timmy, I'm getting kind of nervy. Deja vu from when I was here flying to London like literally a week ago and I'm doing the same exact thing but with more luggage also the flight is more than double the time anyways let's take the air train to JFK to the right terminal